Curves, especially imported curves, can sometimes be very heavy or noisy, resulting in bad quality surfaces. The Edit Curve feature is able to approximate these curves to fit a smoother curve through each. The surface remains associative and the result is clearly better. Taking a look at the Edit Curve feature shows the approximate options and turning them off shows the number of control points and spans on the original curve which are too dense to get a good quality surface. While Edit Curve provides a number of extra curve editing features, the same approximation toolset can be found in the composite curve itself. Applying the same values produces a complete set of curves with the same results as before, but without having to create all those Edit Curve features. Boundary surface and loft features now have additional start and end conditions to control the direction, either normal or tangent. These new options are an extension to the existing normal to profile and tangent to profile, but with the direction being controlled by a vector such as a line, plane or make connector. Adjusting the vector and the magnitude provides another method of controlling the shape of the surface without having to create additional profiles or guide curves. Since these vectors are parametric, the surface can be fine-tuned. Editing this driving sketch and pressing Final provides an interactive method of modifying the surface. The Enclose feature creates a solid part from an enclosed volume of solids, surfaces, planes or make connectors. To improve the workflow and to reduce feature count, all the standard Boolean operations are now included to add, remove or intersect the result with another body. Subassemblies that contain mates that define motion can now be patterned. Each pattern instance inherits the same motion and the same relative position of the driving subassembly. This removes the need to manually insert evenly spaced subassemblies when motion is required. Structure View shows all released top level assemblies within the current folder and all the subassemblies and parts they contain in an easy to read indented list just like a bill of materials. Any items with an icon have an associated release drawing. Clicking the icon expands the node and shows the drawings, making the release design easy to navigate while clearly indicating which parts do not yet have a drawing. Finding an often used appearance in the hundreds that are supplied can take time. Using either the search tool or by manually expanding folders, selecting the material type and then finding the correct finish. For speed, Render Studio now includes favorites for an individual user or the entire company. Adding an appearance as a favorite creates new folders at the top of the appearance list. The Company Favorites folder shows appearances shared with everyone and the My Favorites folder is your personal list. Appearances can then be applied in the usual way by either dragging and dropping or by pre-selecting parts or faces, making the whole process much faster. Appearances now also include a thumbnail, which is especially useful for appearances with generic names that were imported from a part studio. To find which appearance is assigned to the LED, you don't have to select each one in turn. The red one clearly belongs to the LED in this scene. Reusing appearances previously used on other projects is now also possible. Appearances can be imported from another render studio within the same document or from another document. This enables you to keep appearances between projects consistent and to build your own library of custom appearances. Appearances can be simply added to the current render studio or they can replace existing ones based on their name. Select which ones you want to add or replace and click Import. The red LED now uses the company standard appearance. When releasing a part or assembly, it is now possible to include all associated drawings from the current workspace by clicking this new button at the top of the Release Candidate dialog. All assembly, subassembly and part drawings at all levels are added to the release nested below their associated item, with the top-level assembly drawings listed at the bottom. 
This removes the time and effort required to add each drawing individually. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or see some of our other videos linked here.